What up, what up, what up, guys? And can you hear me back in another video today? So we're just going to be pushing with Ice Bow 3.6 with the Valkyrie instead of the Knight. I like her a lot in the meta just because of the all the fireball bait. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let's try to get this video to 500 likes. And yeah, let's get started. I'll try to push the top 100. Okay, so our first game is against My Name is Fred. Um... I don't want to cycle an Ice Wizard just yet. I like to wait a bit usually. And if he doesn't do... Okay, so... Maybe this might be Mega Knight Bait. Or Log Bait. Okay, so he has the Bandit. So I'm not really sure what this is. So I'm not going to play my X build because that would kind of be a bad play. Okay, so he has the Hog Rider. I'm just gonna let this go. I might need a NATO. Yeah, I'm gonna NATO. Yeah, so pretty bad start. I probably should have NATO a lot earlier. I just thought like the Hog Rider would die. Let's go Expo opposite lane. I don't. Okay, so he does have the Mega Knight. So this might be a little bit of a bad situation here. Hopefully, we're able to take care of everything. I'm just gonna ignore the Bandit since. The bandit isn't going to take our tower, but the Inferno Dragon is. And we're just going to take quite a bit of damage, but I think we should be fine here. So definitely double elixir and triple elixir is going to be our friend right here. Since it seems like we probably can't get a connection single, but we'll see. Just going to pre-place my Tesla. And I'm going to go Expo right here because I'm not sure if he has his Mega Knight in Cycle. Skeletons for his Inferno Dragon. And perfect. So we managed to score a lock right there. This is really going to help us out a ton. I need to cycle back to something so I can take care of this Inferno Dragon. Okay, so perfect defense. So right off the bat, we're off to a pretty... Decent um, start at the start of double elixir. Just gonna test in the middle and then Valkyrie. And right here, I'm just gonna actually wait before I play my skeletons because I kind of knew he was gonna play his hog right there. NATO up and managed to clear everything off right there. So notice how I'm not really going aggressively with my expos just because he constantly has his. Inferno Dragon and Mega Knight in Cycle. And I don't want to give him free value. I'm gonna have to NATO this to my Tesla just so I can kill it off. So again, I'm just gonna test in the middle. I don't want to go in, especially if he has his Inferno Dragon and his Mega Knight in Cycle. I'm gonna have to push the Hog Rider to my Tesla with my Skeletons, and then Knight. Okay, so right here, since I don't have my Valkyrie, I'm just going to Tesla low, and then Ice Wizard off to the side. Okay, really, really interesting... Fireball by the opponent. We kind of misplaced our Tesla right there, but I think that should be fine. I'm gonna defensive expo since he did waste like a fireball on nothing. Okay, I know he has Hog Rider in cycle, so I have to prepare for that. Notice how I'm kind of like spacing out my troops, his troops, so so I'm able to like pull his Hog to King. So since in his Inferno Dragon is out of cycle, I'm going to go Expo right here. In kind of a weird position to where he's not really expecting it. And I'm going to actually test the low because I know he has Hog and Mega Knight in cycle. And so we managed to actually catch the Mega Knight. So this connection should win us the game. And all I need to do is log his tower and then go for a rocket. But I got to defend first, so i got to take care of all the spam. And let's go test up high. And we just need like a rocket and a log and we should finish this off. Just 
So GG. Okay, so on to the next match. We're up against Weed Man. Um Okay, let's actually skeletons and then I like to go Tesla in this position because it because if you go in the middle sometimes like like one or two goblins might actually connect. And I think I might just activate King Tower with this mini Pekka. Okay, perfect. And I'm actually gonna go Expo since his Knight and his Mini Pekka's out of cycle. I'm not really sure what he has, so I'm just gonna Skeletons to protect just in case. And let's go Valkyrie. And this should DPS down his Knight, and I think we should get like a bit of a lock here. Okay, that was a pretty good lock. So the game plan in this matchup is just to kind of play defensively. I can't really go in just because he does have like a sort of a fast cycle with his knight. And all I really can do right here is to play defensive. Play defensively with like Teslas and stuff. I'm gonna have to NATO this back. I didn't want to use my skeletons because if he like made hogs with his mother witch i probably would have lost the game right there so that was pretty good on our end and i'm gonna actually go in just because um his mini peck and his mother witch was out of cycle so unfortunately we didn't really get a walk right there but i think that was pretty okay since we did get like his knight out of cycle we're sort of down in damage but we should be able to make it up Hopefully this doesn't hit our tower. Okay, perfect. Just gonna set up with another Tesla. And then NATO his, um, all his buildings. So we're gonna actually start rocket cycling pretty soon. But I wanna wait until we get like a decent elixir advantage. So this test is really important. So what this test is going to do is his mother which won't be able to snipe at the bridge. So like right there he tried to snipe it he wasn't able to. And it's going to help out against his weight units. So since he did waste a ton of elixir there and he gave me elixir with his mother witch, I'm just going to rock it. So I'm going to repeat that same Tesla and then I'm going to have to actually Valkyrie. Well, I probably didn't need the Valkyrie right there. I just thought he was going to play like a Mother Witch behind it. Okay, let's actually go Expo on the far left. Just because I feel like he's going to Fireball. Okay. So, really good Expo on our end. So, we didn't manage to catch the Mega Minion, but I think that's fine. So, I'm going to place the Tesla in the same position. And I'm actually going to defensive expo because I doubt we're going to be able to get another connection like that. And he's actually in like 2 rocket range so I'm just going to hopefully cycle back to 2 rockets when I feel like we're safe defensively. Um, okay let's rocket right now and we just need to cycle back to like a log. Like around 2 logs and maybe a NATO. So again, I'm just going to Tesla in the same position. Really bad fireball by him again. I'm going to log this Mother Witch back just so she doesn't get too much damage. It's Valkyrie. Yeah, I'm gonna log his tower now. So I really like to defend first. That skeleton's low just because his mother witch is there. And I don't want her making any hogs. Okay, we just need a log and this should be GG.
Okay, so pretty good game right there. Okay, so on to the next match. We're up against Raphael. So I've seen this guy quite a bit on top ladder. Let's actually log just to start off. And I'm actually going to use my Ice Wizard right here. And then Skeletons just to help out a tiny bit. Um, let's go x on the same lane of, as our Ice Wizard. And that might have been a mistake. Depending on what variation of Lava Hound he's using. Okay, so this is really bad. He's... Seems like he has the... Lava Clone variant. I don't really know if we'll be able to defend this actually. Yeah, this is pretty much GG. Even if I had rocketed, I probably wouldn't have been able to defend that. Yeah, I probably should have just defended first before going in with an expo, so. That was probably our mistake there. Okay, so we're up against FN. Yeah, I can't really say the rest. Let's log just to kill off his spear goblins. And this might be like minor wall breakers or something. Let's skeletons in the corner. Okay, I doubt this is going to be a connection. He can just easily stall this. I wasn't really going to go for a NATO right there just because it would have been a, like a waste just for a few hundred damage. Okay, so he has the Magic Archer variant. So usually they don't have a big spell if they run the Magic Archer variant, but I've seen like the Firebolt variant being passed around lately. Okay, so let's actually get the King Tower activated right here. And perfect, so we managed to actually get it. And I'm actually going to defensive expo for this Magic Archer. And I'm going to stall on my Valkyrie. And this should clean things up pretty nicely. He's going to have only enough elixir for Spear Goblins. Okay, perfect. So we managed to actually get our Valkyries to tower. And this is looking pretty good for us so far. Skeletons, really nice log by him. I'm gonna have to NATO this back. Notice how I'm being patient. I can't really go in for Reckless Expo. Just because he has so many answers. I'm gonna have the Ice Wizard in the corner. And then log. And hopefully this this doesn't connect in perfect. So King Tower pretty much helped out a lot right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go defensive expo again. And notice how I'm kind of placing it low, so he's not able to like easily snipe it. And I'm just gonna play a test in the middle, just because I knew he was gonna go for wall breakers. And let's do something crazy. I'm gonna go Rocket and then NATO to predict like a Valkyrie. Okay, really nice delay on his Valkyrie right there. He probably knew I was gonna go for like a Rocket NATO or something. Let's predict his Magic Archer. So again, I'm setting up for a defensive expo. So I can like cycle back to another expo. To eventually break through. I can basically ignore that whole left lane because I do have that defensive expo still up. And let's pre Tesla in case he wants to go for a prediction bomb tower. And this is also going to help us set up for an expo. So let's actually expo right here. And this should be. This should be a connection.
gonna NATO his magic archer. Okay, perfect. So, gonna actually test on the middle just so I can help lock on. And perfect. So, we got like a bit of a lock. I doubt we'll be able to get another one, so I'm just gonna. Okay. Really aggressive by our opponent. I'm gonna actually rock it since he did waste a ton of elixir. Okay, so right now, I'm just gonna be focused on setting up with Teslas to kind of deny his magic archer. And since he went bomb tower like this, it's probably safe to go in for like an expo. Let's go Tesla again because I feel like he's gonna go Magic Archer again. Okay, really nice NATO by us. And I'm gonna Defensive Expo just to help out, out on the defensive end. Let's go for a Rocket since we're pretty close. And another Tesla to predict the Magic Archer. Okay, so we don't really need to cycle back to another spell since it's pretty much game. So. That was a pretty nice match. Okay, so we're top 316. So about two more wins and we might be we might be able to hit top 100. These skeletons, this might be Hoggy Q. Hoggy Q or 2.6, let's see. Let's go Valkyrie in the back, yeah. It seems like it's Hoggy Q since he does have the snowball. Since he used his knight, I'm just gonna go Expo. And then once I hit 10 Elixir, I'm gonna predict with my um, Ice Wizard. Okay, I'm not sure what this is if he had played like a Tesla it would have been GG you would have been able to win like right off the bat so I'm actually gonna rocket his pump so it's hog rider 3m with pump so I doubt he has like a big spell since he does have the snowball. So this should like be like a pretty good matchup for us. Um Let's go Expo. Cause I feel like his 3M's out of cycle. Let's go Valkyrie. I don't think we, we're going to be able to get a connection here. Yeah, really nice log by the opponent. He's going to have to overspend on this Valkyrie. Okay, so... Really nice play on his end, not overspending on the Valkyrie. Just going to log for some chip damage right here. And I like to play my defensive expos on the side of the like one musketeer. So I can just like easily um, go Valkyrie on the other side of the two Musketeers. Just like this. Uh, yeah, really bad timing on our end. So again, I'm just going to rocket his pump. I don't want him getting any elixir. So same thing, I'm going to go ex defensive expo on the side of the one pump, I mean one musketeer. If this keeps up, we should be able to win because I don't really see any way of him breaking through. Okay, let's just NATO this to one side. And then Ice was on the same corner. I don't really want to go Rocket because we don't need to. And 
We might be able to get a good expo connection here. His 3M's out of cycle. I'm gonna hover my Nato over like the middle. And we managed to get a lock, so that E Spear shouldn't be able to connect. And this should pretty much be GG. Okay, so it looks like he gave up, but I'm not gonna go expo right away because sometimes people pretend to give up and that could cost us the game. I'm just gonna go Valkyrie in the back and then see if he plays anything. Okay, so he gave up for sure with that play. So I'm just gonna go expo and this should pretty much be GG. I don't think we're gonna be like top 100 right away, but we should be pretty close. Okay, so we're 206. Okay, so we're up against Ruber Official. It's gonna ice was in the back to start off. I don't really like going Valkyrie first play. It's kind of risky. It's gonna test in the middle. So this looks like, okay. I thought it was giant double prince at first, but he kind of used the rage, so it tells me it's sparky. And since he used his zap, I can just go skeletons right away. In case he, in case I felt like he was gonna go for a sparky. Okay, perfect. So I don't really need to log that since it's already dead. It's gonna go Ice Wizard for his Mega Minion. Okay, so now he decides to play Sparky. So I'm just gonna test in the middle. I don't really like rocketing for Sparky in single. Unless it's like behind a tower. So right here I'm just going to defend without my rocket. Let's actually wait for our skeletons. And really nice Valkyrie by us. So he kind of overspent on defense right there. So we might be able to get a connection. And our Valkyrie did connect to the tower. Luckily. Um, let's go Expo. He should have like Sparky right now, but I do have my rocket ready. I'm gonna rocket NATO. And really nice cleanup. And this should be a pretty nice connection. I'm gonna play my Tesla just to kill the E-Wiz a little bit faster. And I can just play my Skeletons and cycle back to another Expo. And I don't really see how he's gonna be able to defend this. Gonna get my rocket ready in case. I'm just gonna like spam my Valkyrie and my um, Ice Wizard at the bridge. And notice how I'm kind of separating my Tesla. Just so in case the Sparky shoots, it's not hitting my Tesla too. And perfect, so we, we were able to get a connection right there, but so... I know he's not gonna be able to defend, so I'm just gonna play an Expo right away, and that's pretty much game. So another easy matchup. Okay, so this should be the game for top 100. Ice Glacier. Gladiator. Yeah, Ice Gladiator. Let's go Ice Wizard in the back. It's either Giant Double Prince or RG. Not many decks run these two exact cards. Um, really aggressive lightning by the opponent. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to play my expo right there. 
but I'm just gonna play late expo kind of unfortunate that he did have enough for like an RG but that's okay I know he doesn't really have like a fireball so our ice wizard should get a pretty good amount of value right here on defense So as long as he doesn't have a mother witch, I think we should be able to be. I think we should be fine here. If he does have mother witch, I think this is pretty much unwinnable. It's actually Valkyrie up high. So it seems like he only has a hunter. I'm gonna go expo again. Play our expo on, I mean our skeletons on top. Okay, so you want RG in the back. Let's go expo opposite lane. Skeletons for his Dark Prince. Gonna needle this back. And then Valkyrie his RG. Okay, perfect. Um gonna needle this back in case he goes for like a lightning. It's really unfortunate that he has RG in cycle because I can't really go in. But I'm just gonna play like a defensive X door. That's like my only bet right now. And just for damage, I'm just going to go on um, rocket on his RG just to kind of cycle. This isn't really looking good for us right now. I don't think we'll be able to break through. So I can't really punish his his lightning either. Just because he has RG in cycle again. Okay, since he played his RG, I think we should be fine to go with an expo opposite lane. Okay, so we did manage to score connection. I'm gonna play my Valkyrie in front of my Ice Wizard. Hopefully we get something going right there. Let's play Tesla to sort of bait out an RG. Hopefully. Let's go Expo. Okay, I thought he was gonna play his RG in front, but this should work out for us. He should be super low on Elixir, so I'm just gonna actually Valkyrie and then Tesla. And I'm gonna actually cycle back to another expo since his lightning's out of cycle. And let's actually go with NATO on this Dark Prince. Hopefully we score connection. Gotta protect my expo as much as possible here. And this is really, really getting close, guys. I'm gonna have to play my Ice Wizard in the middle and then Rocket for damage. We just need like one more Rocket. I'm gonna play my Tesla in the corner so he doesn't lightning it right away. I have to NATO this back, and then I'm gonna late log. Hopefully this doesn't connect to our tower. Oh my gosh, guys, come on. You guys have to drop me a like for that. 500 likes just for that win. And just like that, we got top 100. Let's see where we, where we are right now. Okay, we're top 82. So yeah, Kenny out.